Good morning, LT, and welcome to this week's edition of Vanguard TV. I'm Faith Aloris. And I'm Tom V. Maddie. On today's episode, we'll discuss the Vanguard newspaper, the LT cricket team, and much more. Lebanon Trail's newspaper not only keeps the school informed, but also takes part in competitions through UIL and the Dallas Morning News. Alex Jones has more on this publication and the students who run it. The UIL and Dallas Morning News journalism competitions provide the students the opportunities to demonstrate their news media abilities and skills. Vanguard newspaper spends the majority of the school year preparing for these competitions as well as regularly updating their very own website. What a busy day looks like in there is us mainly working on articles that we've been assigned or looked through and assigned for ourselves, which varies from basically any world events that we're interested in that we write about. So in addition to peer reviewing the other people's papers, typically we also like have discussions on what our next newspaper topics are going to be about, what's going to be timely and what will be relevant to like a high school audience. The UIL journalism competition took place at Independence High School on March 25th where student media teams from many FISD schools competed in a variety of categories. I think we're all preparing pretty well. We have the topics that we're going to be working on for the competition, and we're doing practices looking over past year's questions, and we're working well towards the competition. I think we're going to be pretty successful this year. So the UIL competition is going to be basically a universal competition between districts where we're going to compete to see who does like the best newspaper. So every year the UIL competition has like a couple different categories. So it's like copy editing, editorials, features, and it's just different skills that we work on in journalism and newspaper. I'm Alex Jones reporting for Vanguard TV. Lebanon Trail has a multitude of creative students, one of whom is junior Ashley Amani, who owns, manages, and creates accessories for her very own Etsy store. Blakely Jameson has more on her business and how she became a young entrepreneur. Lebanon Trail junior Ashley Amani is not only a full-time student but also uses Etsy to run her own business, an accessory store called the Headband Studio. She hand makes all her products with a variety of fabrics and a close attention to detail. Me and my mom, we started during COVID, but we started getting into it like a year and a half ago. When I first started, it was a lot slower, so now it's just like a lot better because we can market really well. In order to balance her studies and growing career endeavor in a professional manner, Amani creates a detailed schedule that allocates specific time for business and additional time for homework and other out-of-school activities. I try not to do my business during school days and I have track in the morning so I only have to worry about that in the morning and then I do school throughout the week and then on the weekends I try to focus on my business. In order to keep her business going, Amani dedicates a significant amount of effort into her shop outside of school hours. We first pick out fabric and then cut and then I sew a bunch of it and then the product's just done. I make sure when I go pick out fabric, I pick out the ones that I think would sell the best. We wanted to advocate for like nurses and like healthcare and like have them have like their hair out of their face and stuff like that. Amani's business has already experienced evident progress since 2020 with an increase in shoppers looking to purchase accessories. She said she will continue to strive for further success in the future by setting additional goals and developing deliberate plans to achieve them with the support of her family and peers. I'm Blakely Jamison reporting for Vanguard TV. Lebanon Trail is a diverse campus with a variety of different clubs and ways for students to get involved. One such organization is the Cricket Club, which is in its first year of establishment at LT. Magana Kuchipudi has more on this team's impact on the students who participate and the goals that they want to achieve. The LTHS cricket team is currently on a winning streak, which includes notching three wins so far in a local tournament. The club was founded by sophomore this year, Sai Navanith Narayanan. I thought creating a club would help spread the sport of cricket and also make new friends, have a good time. I just wanted to play cricket with my friends and it's a sport that I enjoy. So I decided to join this club because I thought it would help me improve my skills in cricket. The team practices twice per week and competes in games every other week. I feel that our club has grown a lot over the last several months. We concentrate more on batting because we need more runs in one single ball. 
than like singles per each. Students on the team are currently taking part in various tournaments with the goal in each one to ensure their spot. And we select the best 11 and even though we didn't get the outcome we wanted, we did our best and even we continued the same thing for our next games. Cricket team members mentioned that this club impacts them by making them increase their social circle and allows them to take part in a sport that is a healthy hobby. Help me mentally because it's really been a stress reliever, uh, especially this club, you know, especially like it's been away from like from my school stuff. I take most of things like sportive and sportive mentality. Um, this helps me a lot in other activities too. As they play against local Frisco schools in coming tournaments at the end of the month of March. I'm Megana Kuchipuri reporting for Vanguard TV. The Hawaiian Islands, in particular Maui, are filled with views and activities much different than those seen in Frisco on a daily basis. Dean Sanju spent a week in the islands finding out more about the island's nature and wildlife. The island of Maui is the second largest of the Hawaiian Islands and is known as the Valley of the Isle for its beaches, the sacred Lao Valley, and the migrating humpback whales during the winter months. The Rotahana is one of Maui's most famous attractions with 68 miles of road allowing access to the entire island, with state and federal parks along the road. Some major attractions along the route are the Garden of Eden, where the Jurassic Park movies are filmed, Waia Anapa Napa State Park. This contains the only black sand beach on the entire island. You are able to hike, camp, picnic, and fish in the state park. Kipahulu Federal Park is known for its seven sacred pools, its nature trails, and the different type of floral life you are able to see. You are also able to camp and hike along the trails. Maui is home to a dormant volcano, Haleakila, the house of the sun. The volcano reaches an altitude of 10,000 feet and overlooks the entire island. While most visitors drive to the top, you are also able to hike along the way and camp. While there are many places to enjoy the island's natural beauty, you can also go see a luau performance. Many of these performances teach you the history of the island and the story of the journey the natives took to get to the islands long ago. Boxing, wrestling, and the mock battles of spear throwing and stone slinging, they would prepare for battle. Traveling allows you to gain new experiences and knowledge by immersing yourself in different cultures. The Hawaiian Islands have a variety of experiences for anyone wanting to visit, but it is only one of the many places students can expand their horizons. The world is filled with natural beauty waiting to be explored. I'm Dean Sainju, reporting for Vanguard TV. Sports seasons are in full swing as the final winter sport recently wrapped up district play. Ethan Wu has more on soccer's progress in playoffs and the continued success of LT Spring Sports. Welcome to another edition of Blazer Sports Updates. As winter sports play their final games or have moved on to higher levels of competition, spring sports continue to roll on with more successes and achievements. LT recently hosted a track practice meet last Thursday, competing against Independence and Lone Star High School in various activities such as relays, various sprints, and mile runs. While no official times of the placements haven't reported, our track team gave it their all in their last meet. Our girls soccer team performed exceptionally well in district play and have progressed onto regional playoffs. They competed in their first playoff game on March 23rd at the Kirkendall Stadium against the Lone Star Rangers. The Blazers walked away with a final score of 1-0 and progressed onto their next game against the Wilson Wildcats on March 27th. The Blazers finished a close game with a final score of 3-2, concluding the girls soccer season with an overall record of 12 wins, 8 losses, and 1 tie. And at second place in districts, a record of 10 wins and 2 losses. Moving into the diamond fields, softball is currently placed third in the district with an overall record of 8-14, losing against some difficult opponents such as the Emerson Mavericks and the Liberty Redhawks, but bounced back with victories against the Centennial Titans and the Independence Knights. The Blazers will face off against the Heritage Coyotes in their 8th district of Wakeham on April 4th at 7pm. On a 7-win streak, baseball has had a strong season so far with a 12-6 record. The Blazers are currently undefeated in district play with a record of 6 wins and no losses, emerging victorious against teams such as the Independence Knights, Liberty Redhawks, and against the Memorial Warriors, all of which they won twice in a row against. Their next district home game will be against the Heritage Coyotes on April 4th at 7.30pm. I'm Ethan Wu, reporting for Vanguard TV. Thank you for watching Vanguard TV. I'm Tanvi Maddie. And I'm Faith Dolores. Blaze it, LT.